Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a rear main seal on a white block Volvo this is actually from a Volvo 850 uh, the engine and transmission was removed as a unit and this video will just really show you how to pull the transmission and the engine apart replace the seal get that stuff back together so that you can reinstall the engine and transmission in the vehicle we're uh, taking a couple of bolts out of the lower side of the transmission so when we set it on the ground we can go ahead and finish unbolting the transmission and start taking the flywheel off. So we pulled the 10 bolts from around the transmission, but we left three in around the top and we got the uh, flywheel uh, bolts loose. They were T50s, six of those. And then we pulled those last three bolts out of the transmission and Ken made a dolly the right height to make the transmission with the engine and the transmission dolly just roll right away from the engine. So there's a torque converter on the transmission where you want it. There's a flywheel still bolted to the engine and the rear main seal is behind that. We have the flywheel off and there is the rear main seal. That is a pretty big seal that goes all the way around that uh, back of that. Uh, flywheel mount area so got to get that seal out put the new one in place and start work on putting this thing back together put a little pilot hole in there then we put a drywall screw in there then we prime the seal out that way so get you something to pry the seal out go ahead can pull it out and there you are look at that big old rear main seal coming out of there okay Easy as pie. <laughs> the old rear main seal has basically a lip and a spring inside there that holds the seal tight against the shaft that comes out. The new style rear main seal does not have that spring, but it has several layers of ribs that can possibly keep oil back from coming through. This is the new part number for the Volvo seal. Came from FCP and Volvo wrapper. And there goes your blue label there. Made in Hungary. This is the seal that's going back on. It's kind of a green seal going back on. Get all this stuff apart it's best to do everything you can so we lifted the torque converter away from the transmission we set it on the ground torque converter has fluid in there so you don't want to tip it over or the transmission fluid will come out of it then we pulled this seal here we clamped that on there pulled that seal right out with these little uh, needle nose uh, uh, vice grip pliers we're going to wipe that off put a new seal there we put a new seal where the axle goes there we put a new seal on the other side and here's the part number and stuff for this uh, pump seal and you definitely want to go back with Volvo seals please don't try anything else now when we put this torque converter back on you want to make the torque converter flush with the surface of the transmission mount surface and push it in 14 millimeters and then you want to uh, go ahead and mount it back onto the engine if it's not far enough pushed in when you start the car and try to drive it you can destroy the transmission all right that seal actually has a, a metal outer ring but it is in place but if you look down in there you got the two tabs down in there deep that that torque converter 
has to kind of latch on to. So when you work your torque converter in, make sure that those tabs fit over those notches. Right. So that has to mate right. recess. In, that, in that recess. Right. All right, to make sure that this torque converter is all the way in, you want to put a straight edge across the mating surface. Then you want to make sure you're a little bit past half inch deep on your screw surfaces. And that way you know that your torque converter is all the way in and your spline is lined up on the inside. Next we're going to clean the sealant off of the flywheel bolts so we can put new sealant on and install the flywheel. This is the Permatec high temperature thread compound that we're going to put on these bolts that goes into this flywheel. And uh, I guess it is a part number somewhere on here. There it is. As soon as it comes back in focus, 59214. Just put some in the threads and start your bolts in your flywheel and torque them down. So you put a little bit of the sealing on there and you take two bolts and wind them in together to spread the sealant on the threads. We're torquing these down. We put one mark when we hit the 33 foot-pounds. We put the second mark when we hit the 65 degrees. We got one bolt left on the 65 degrees. So we're using the angled torque with a kickstand. We have the flywheel bolts in and torqued down. I got the bolts torqued down from the transmission to the engine. They're called bell housing bolts. I got all 10 of them torqued down. So we're ready to lift this engine up off of the pallets and get it maneuvered around in place to lower in the engine compartment. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.